Here are five things you might not know about Edward Folayang. Number one, he was an immediate success. Folayang struck gold in his professional mixed martial arts debut as he captured the Universal Reality Combat Championship welterweight crown with a first round technical knockout of Alan Ko on June 30, 2007 in Taguig City, Philippines. He has since claimed titles in the martial combat and won championship organizations. Number 2. A quick start fueled his ambition. Landslide raced out to an 11-1 start through his first 12 appearances. His only setback, an 8-second knockout loss to John Tuck under the Guerrilla Warfare MMA banner in 2009. Nevertheless, Folayang's effort drew the attention and admiration of one championship brass. Number 3. Loyalty has become a virtue. Folayang has spent more than half of his 34-fight career in one championship, having gone to post 22 times for the Singapore-based promotion. He owns a 12-10 record with the company. Number 4. He took a road less traveled. The Lakai MMA rep remains only one of six fighters in one championship history who have captured a divisional title on multiple occasions. Ayoki, Adriano Moraes, Joshua Pasho, and Yoshitaka Naito are the others. Folayang held the lightweight championship from November 11, 2016 to November 10, 2017, and again from November 23, 2018 to March 31, 2019. Number 5. Lightning strikes are part of his arsenal. Folayang has never been regarded as an explosive offensive competitor as he has reached the judges 19 times as a pro. However, he does have three sub-minute finishes for his credit. Folayang put away Jerry Legaspi with punches and kicks to the body in 15 seconds at URCC 13 on November 22, 2008. Cut down Jerome Norita with punches in 52 seconds a Guerrilla Warfare 2 on March 28, 2009 and elbowed Watson Teixeira into submission in 56 seconds at TRCC Cebu 7 on January 13, 2012. Exchange Bet Remote Gaming is now available. Visit our Facebook page for more information. Links are in the description below.